Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Sasha Aisha Modesti. I'm from big class of third semester. On this opportunity, I will present about the implementation of the IPM model to improve English student speaking skills. First of all, what is IPA model? IPA or Integrated Performance Assessment is defined as a classroom-based performance assessment model which is used to evaluate students' communication skills in the three modes of communication, interpretative, presentational, and interpersonal. Why we use this model? With this model, students are given many opportunities to show how they use their language skills and each element of the activity allows students to have other language skills. Also, students continue growing and learning something new since they are supported with a real-life task and a cultural topic evaluated in the three modes of communication. This research involves 39 students as research subjects. There are three modes of communication. First is interpretative task, involves reading and listening task. And this step aims to explore students' background knowledge about the topic being presented in class. The second one is presentational. The presentational assessment is an assessment of student performance either in the form of material presentation, describing something written or spoken. Last one is interpersonal. Interpersonal assessment is related to the lecturer's assessment that the lecturer has determined. In this activity, student, students interact, negotiate, share information, opinions, understanding, and feeling about the task. There are four methods that use in this research. First one is planning. This stage involves developing learning strategies, preparing learning implementation plans, preparing devices, and preparing IPSC seed instruments. The main researcher acted act like a lecturer who taught, who taught the class, while research member acts as collaborators in implementing classroom action research. Second is implementation. The researcher as a lecturer carried out learning that has been prepared in the learning implementation plan. During the learning process, research members as collaborators help the lecturer observe the continuity of learning. One cycle was held for meeting with 100 means for each meeting for weeks. At the end of each meeting, students were asked to fill out a self-assessment sheet Sheet, including feedback that the research team had prepared. Next is observation. The research member act as collaborators observing the continuity of learning. Collaborators as co-observers, co-observers then recorded things that were considered necessary during the learning process. On the field notes sheet, at this stage, the data collection process had begun. Unless is reflection uh, in this step, the, the reflection stage is the stage where researchers analyze the data that has been collected. What we find and discuss in this research was at paragraph at graph, in graph one, the data refers a consistent upward trend in week four where there was a downgrade in the student speaking score, which decreased slowly at week three and then increased significantly at week four. This could happen because the topics were new for them. It caused lack of any background knowledge about the content. At, in graph two, graph two, there are different in each category, it can be seen that not all students have the same level of ability. Overall level of students in speaking skills at a reasonable level, what makes this happen? One possible explanation for this disparity is differences of past academic learning. 
each student has back in high school, and most of the students were still not confident enough to express their their ideas on a particular topic. And in last graph or graph three, based on data, we can conclude that the most skill that students master in the pronunciation at 92% mastery. Why? Almost students had ideas to get involved actively in the discussion, but because it required them to use English, English, it was a great challenge for them to participate. Also, their pronunciation improved because of their curiosity about how to pronounce the unfamiliar words that had during taking this course. So what the conclusion? From this research, we can conclude that IPM model can improve student speaking skills. There are internal and external factors that play a role in determining the success of students in the speaking class. The squeeze of shame, lack of confidence, and fear of doing wrong becomes internal factors students face. Furthermore, uh, external factors such as internet access, device tools use, and time constraints, constraint, are other parts that contribute to their speaking informants. Maybe that all from me. Maybe that all the presentation from me. If there are any uh, mistake I've made, uh, please forgive me. And that's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.